Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a look at this newly anticipated RDA, and it is called the Govad, or is it the Gavad, or is it Gonad? No, it's Govad. The Govad RDA by Vandy Vape. Best RDA of 2017, guys, not shitting you one bit, and like I said before, it's made by a new company called Vandy Vape, and looking back, okay, Geek Vape, you know who Geek Vape is, right? Okay, when they came out with their first product, they sent it out to me, and I tried it, and I was like, ooh, this is pretty darn good. Actually, this is great. And then they sent me the second product, and I was like, man, we may have something special here with this company. Company. Then they sent me the third product, and I was like, yep, this company's special. Well, just letting you know, the same guy that made a lot of those products over at Geek Vape made this bad boy. So yeah, you've heard of the Griffin 25, and the Griffin 25 Plus, and the Avocado, and the Avocado 24, and the Tsunami RDA. Well, like I said, okay, all those products over at Geek Vape, a guy that made this bad boy made those, and his name is Steven Zhang. They got a whole slew of products coming, but this is their debut, like I said, and this is just the best damn RDA in 2017. You know what? Before I vape on this hellacious product, I'm gonna dive down and show you why I think is the best damn RDA of 2017. Are you ready? Let's go. Just letting you chuckle luggers know, this is the sample packaging for this GoVad RDA. It's not the final packaging, but the reason why I'm showing you the sample packaging is because one, they didn't send me the final packaging, and two, okay, I'm doing a massive giveaway for this bad boy. So all the units of anti-vape sent me are the final production units. They're just in the sample packaging. But yeah, inside that packaging, you're gonna receive your GoVad RDA. Comes with two extra drip tips. And a baggie of extra goodies, which includes a Buku O-rings, a 510 drip tip adapter, three extra screws, and a Phillips head screwdriver. First things first, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta start with the deck section. That's what you've been waiting for, right? Because it looks very, very, very similar to the Faro Dripper tank, but it's different and it's innovative at the same time. That's what I love about it. It's taking the best of one device and then making it their own and making something innovative, and that's what this is. Just like the Faro Dripper tank, it uses the clamps, those spring-loaded clamps, as you guys can see. Love it. It says Vandy Vapo over here and you have airflow you have direct you can call it direct you can call it indirect it all depends on how you position your coil if you want to position it low it could be direct airflow if you want to position the coil high it could be indirect airflow but you got airflow running through the positive connection here's your insulator right here and then you got airflow running through the negative connection and then you got bottom airflow similar to the ferro but different and both connections and the bottom airflow is gold plated which is a big pro in my opinion you got one bottom airflow slot on the outside of this device on one side one bottom airflow slot on the outside of this device on the other and another great thing about this is you can adjust the airflow all across the board i could block off the bottom airflow if i want and just use the direct airflow or indirect airflow running through each connection or i could block off the direct and indirect airflow running through the connections and use the bottom airflow sky's the limit with this device man i can't praise this thing enough oh yeah and as you guys can see it's got dual o-rings on the deck lip now here's the bottom barrel section at the top you got one single o-ring and look at all these slots right here that's for the indirect or direct airflow it's six slots in total and then you got your bottom slots for the bottom airflow and here is the inside of the barrel the machining for this is nice i mean it's great for the price point and this device hadn't even been cleaned, guys. This is brand new out of the package. Now, here's the top cap, and engraved on the top cap, you got GoVad on one side, and then VandyVape, the VandyVape logo on the other, and then you got four slots. Four slots for the direct and indirect airflow running through the connections. At the top, it says VandyVape, and then you've got an O-ring that's embedded in the top of the top cap. Again, machining phenomenal. Oh, yeah, and then inside, you got a conical shape, and that enhances the flavor even more, baby. And at the bottom of the deck section, you've got a gold-plated 510 pin. Threads are nice and smooth. You also have this Phillips head screw, and that's to keep this negative connection intact. Keeps it secure. And also at the bottom, it says, GoVad, designed and manufactured by Vandy Vape, and you got Steven's signature. So I'm going to go ahead and screw this onto a device. Go ahead and pop the top cap on there, and what we're going to do first is we're going to line up the bottom airflow slots on the barrel with the bottom airflow slots on the actual device, and what that does is it makes it to where everything is open. The airflow is completely open, the direct, indirect, and the bottom airflow. Line them up, press down, and voila, everything is completely open as you guys can see. Another thing to point out, when you first get this RDA, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle getting the bottom barrel off, but the easiest way to do it is screw this RDA onto a device and then just pull that sucker and it should come right off. Now, if I want to just block off the bottom airflow, it's easy. Let me show you, okay? You pop the bottom barrel on there, turn it, line up these two slots with the connection just like that right there, and then press down and boom, they're open. Blocked off at the bottom, open through the connections. Now, if I want to block off the direct or indirect airflow and keep the bottom airflow open, just like I showed you before, you line up all the slots. And when you pop the top cap on there, you want to line up the slots on the top cap in between the slots on the bottom barrel. In between. 
and boom, everything is blocked off up top and open at the bottom. And from there, I can adjust just the bottom airflow by grabbing a hold of the bottom barrel and just twisting. And whatever you adjust on this side is going to be the exact same on this side. And I can close it off even more if I want. And when I have the bottom airflow completely closed off and I have the direct or indirect airflow completely open, I can adjust it, grab a hold of this barrel and then turn. And it's the perfect amount of restrictiveness, guys. And when this thing gets juiced up, the top barrel, it does get a little bit loose, but that's what you want because you want to be able to pop this sucker off with ease, paint your juice on there. And the bottom barrel is so much more secure than the top. And that's exactly the way they engineered it. And it's just more efficient that way. Now, when the airflow is completely open all across the board, you can adjust the bottom and the airflow up here by just adjusting the bottom first. And then it just turns it, okay? And it makes the top or the direct and indirect more indirect. And then the bottom, you're cutting that off. Sky's the limit when it comes to airflow for this device. So you receive three Delrin drip tips and also a Delrin standard 510 drip tip adapter. The one all the way to my left is short and fat. The one in the middle is short and a little bit skinnier. And then the one over here to the far right is a little bit longer, a little bit taller than the other ones, but it's a little bit thinner too. And all three of these drip tips have a bore of nine and a half millimeter. And personally, I prefer the short fatty one, the fattest one of them all. That's what she said. <laughs> But I'll tell you what, she looks the tits, doesn't she? Goodness gracious. Check it out. Here's the build I have in this puppy. And this is a 0.15 ohm staggered fuse Clapton made by Squid Dude. That's right. He makes coils for the Fair Dripper tank, and this fits perfectly. If you're interested in these coils, I'll post a link down in the description to Squid Dude's website, a very talented coil builder. But yeah, if you want to know how to build on this thing, it's the exact same way as the Fair Dripper tank. And if you don't know anything about the Fair Dripper tank, I'll post a link down in the description. Check it out. I've got a review or a show and tell where I show you how to build on this thing. It's just as easy. This is the, the distance I like to keep this coil right here and look through the direct slash indirect airflow slots through the connections it's hitting the bottom of the coil if you guys can see that I don't know if you guys can see that it is absolutely beautiful and the beauty of this what makes this thing so versatile not only the airflow slots and the way it works but you can pull this coil down and hit the bottom half of the coil again all this is going to be subjective but you can get a totally different vape than the way I have it positioned right now I'm going to quit gushing over this thing I'm going to wick it juice it up and we're going to go vape it Yeah, boy. So I got her wicked up, got her juiced up. And the first way that I'm going to vapor is I'm going to block off the bottom airflow and just have the direct slash indirect airflow open. And she's ready to chuck tits. So I got this GoVad sitting on the AL85 by Smog. I love this mod. One of the best single 18650 mods to date, in my opinion. I love the size. I love how ergonomic it is. It vapes up to 85 watts. If you missed my review, check it out. I'll post a link down in the description. But the build I have in here, it's that 0.15 ohm staggered fuse Clapton by Squid Dude. Vapor at 65 watts. Airflow running through the connections wide open. And I close off the bottom airflow. Here we go. Now what I've done is I've bumped her down to 60 watts and the airflow running straight through the connections. I've closed those off halfway open and I've kept the bottom airflow completely closed off. Here we go. God dang, that's good. That's my cup of tea right there. Now I've bumped her down to 50 watts and I've got the just the bottom airflow completely open and I've closed off the airflow above it running through the connections. Here we go. Good. Now the bottom airflow, it's it's really restrictive, especially compared to just having the airflow open through the connections. Really, really restrictive because you have the coil sitting over it and it's just one hole. It's not like the Faro where you have slot, slot, slot. You know, the grill section airflow slots. Okay, it's way more airflow off the Faro than it is off this, just the bottom airflow. But it is, oh, it is nice and restrictive and flavorful as all hell. This is for the vapor that wants that lung restrictive hit, that wants that heat, that wants just that, that, that flavor, that just dense, just in your mouth, biteful flavor, baby. It feels like you just took a bite out of what you're vaping. So good. And the clouds, you see them, they're dense, dense, dense. Gonna paint her on there. Line up the slots. Now I bumped her up to 75 watts and I've got the airflow running through the connections wide open. The airflow at the bottom wide open. Oh, you know the drill. Here we go. And look at the vapor production. She's a chicken tits. Now I bumped her down to 70 watts and I've closed her off top to bottom or midway to bottom about halfway. Let's vapor. I mean, it's just good either way.
I'm sorry, not good. Great. Pro number one, she kicks out some of the most outstanding flavor, especially for an RDA. I mean, outstanding. Airflow, oh, you guys just heard the airflow, smoother than a silkworm's diarrhea one. And also, you guys saw in the close-ups, look how many adjustable airflow options you got. I mean, you saw the demonstration. So many different adjustable airflow options, gotta love it. Three, has the same spring-loaded clamps that my Ferro Dripper Tank has. It is the easiest, most convenient, most efficient deck to build on out there. And on top of that, the connections on this bad boy are gold plated. As far as O-rings goes, the bottom dual O-rings on the deck lip give the bottom barrel the perfect amount of restrictiveness. Hell, the bottom barrel is just tight enough to where when you pull the top cap off to paint your juice on there, it's not going anywhere. But at the same time, just loose enough to where I can easily adjust my airflow. So this sucker not only comes with a standard 510 drip tip adapter, so if you want, you can use your standard 510 drip tips, but it also comes with three fatty drip tips. Well, well two of them are fatty and thick, the other one's skinny, but wide board Delrin drip tips. And on top of that, this this chuckle lucker is compatible with your goon drip tips. What? Oh yeah, back to the deck section. Okay, she's got a good juice well, a nice juice well. And I really like how the connections are kind of floating to give more room for the juice to flow. She comes in two different color options that I've seen, stainless steel or black. She's a 24 millimeter dripper, and you know how I love my 24 and 25 millimeter devices. Love them. I freaking love them. And the Faro, the Faro dripper tank is a 25 millimeter device, and this sucker being 24 millimeter, the deck section, the clamps, you have the same room to build on as the Faro dripper tank. Now, I'm not saying this is better than the Faro dripper tank. Come on, I can't do that. Don't you put me in that position. That being said, the Faro dripper tank is different. That's a tank. This is a dripper. Build quality for this puppy, lovely delicious, especially for the price point. And what I'm hearing, the price point is going to be retail 35 to 40 bucks. Now, the only con I found for this, one con, it's going to be subjective. That tells you something right there. That's how great this product is. But the only con is, is that you cannot just bleh. You can't drip, drip, drip juice in here. If you do that, it's going to leak. Even if you close off the bottom airflow, like I showed you in the close-ups, it's going to leak. Okay? Again, you can't bleh. So if you're the type of vapor, you drip, 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 drip from the top, don't get this. You're not going to want it. This is for the vapor that likes to paint. This is for the vapor out there. If you use the Kennedy RDA or you're using the Watofo Lush Plus, any device out there that's got bottom airflow that you have to paint juice on, if you're that type of vapor that buys those devices, you are going to flip and love this. Do I even need to answer the big question, the big answer of the day? You know what I'm going to say? Hell yeah. Best damn RDA 2017. What do you think? 35 to 40 bucks. Every vape that I take off this is just vape gasmic. Yes, yes, yes. Giving away five I've GoVad units right here on my YouTube channel and in order to participate, you know what you have to do. One, you gotta be a loyal YouTube subscriber of mine and two, you gotta comment down in the comment section your email, Facebook, or Instagram. One of those will work. And what I'll do within the next week or two is contact five random winners, get their mailing address, and get their prizes out to them. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoyed it. You found it entertaining. If you did like it, well then like it down below. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe for more. This is Rip Trippers and remember, smoking is dead. Vaping is the future and the future is now.